you could copy and paste directly from this page right into online store, but sometimes it brings over formatting. So what I like to do is create a text doc. And so that's right here. And I've already captured all of the information that I know that I want to bring over. Like I decided, okay, these are the things I want to have in my nav. These are my categories. This is what my about section is going to say. And then I copied all the announcement wording just into a new text edit document. So I have a Mac and text edit is already installed. I went up to file new. And then I went up into format, make plain text, and then just paste it all in here. And that strips out any like bolding or large words or strange formatting. Makes it much easier to paste uh, into online store. And then I also gathered up photos, like what she wants to use in her about section is this cute picture. Um, her header image, she's saying we could either use this one, which has Sunshine Sticker Co. on it, or this one, which is just a Creative Commons Zero image. She snagged off of Pexels, just temporarily. And then her logo, size to fit for online store, which I already knew ahead of time, but you'll see when you're in there that it has to be 400 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall. And then a few images to start with. And a quick trip for images. Of course, I have all of these images filed somewhere, right? You might be using Dropbox or Google Drive or an external hard drive or whatnot. But another quick way that you could just gather images just to go super fast is to click on a product and then click on zoom and then you get the large view of the image. You can right click and go to save image as and then just save it to your desktop and rename it or whatever. So that's a fast way that you could do it. Now it might be compressed so it might look fuzzier than you want it to. So in that case you probably do want to go back to your original but if you don't mind or if it looks fine to you then um, I think that's a great way to go. All of her listings have several images in them, and then there's this end card, which is on all of them, which just encourages you to purchase. So I have saved all of that in, into this folder. And the end card. Okay, so gathering those things ahead of time will just really help you out. I'm going to close these little preview windows. All right, so let's go back to our getting started guide. Let's go ahead and go into business information area. Um, <clears throat> we do have Sunshine Sticker Co. in here. I don't need to add a phone number right now. I'm happy with the email address. United States is correct. United States dollar is correct. US month date. That's all fine. So I'm going to hit save. And you see a success message. I'm not going to worry about what to put in the search engine title and description area right now, but you're certainly welcome to do that. Go back to getting started. Now, since I had already clicked into these earlier, it thinks that they're completed, but we have to go through and complete each one. The next uh, line item here is products, but I'm going to skip that for now because I think that's the most time consuming. Let's go into payments. So we've automatically enabled PayPal, it thinks that the email address I entered earlier is the PayPal address, which is could be true. I don't know. Um, but this is also an opportunity to add Stripe or decide to pay some other way. No need to change any of that. Go back to getting started. Shipping. It says no shipping method yet. All right, so I know that Ashley uses flat rate per order. So I'm going to click add. And it is a fixed amount of $3.25. And I think she has some shipping information that she writes in here, which is ready to ship in three to five business days. Ship to these countries. So right now we're just going to limit it to the United States. So we'll click on that. All the states is fine and hit save. 
Nice, now shipping is set up. Back to the getting started guide. Tax, I'm not gonna worry about filling that out right now. You will have to figure that out for yourself. I am not a tax expert. <laughs> And store design, well, we know we had already picked our theme, so we're good to go there. Okay, so now let's start entering these theme settings. Under header, we're just gonna leave this part blank. We don't need a tagline. Tagline usually appears right here, like where it says world-class products. Um, I just deleted that out. An announcement banner says, this banner displays throughout your store to let your customers know about news and special promotions. We do want that. And I already have text for that. We're going to say become a VIP for exclusive sales. I'll grab that from my text document here. And she has a bit.ly URL for that. So I'm going to copy and paste that in the URL area. Looks good. And then display subcategories and shop drop down menu. We do want that, so I'm going to click it and hit save. And let's take a look at what, what's changed. So if I go back to this tab where the preview is, I can just refresh it. You can see the tagline went away. And here's that text we just added, become a VIP for exclusive sales. And when you click on that, you get that Billy link. So let's go back to the next section. After header, we have home page. Okay, so here we want to replace this T image with a new main banner. So that's the image that goes right here and I don't want the text on it. So I'm going to click change image and we will go back to here where I've saved this image with the flowers and the desk and the planner laying on it. I'm going to open and it's gonna get cropped, so I think I would like it to show more of the planner, less of the background. You can also make it bigger, smaller, and click OK. So that'll replace that teapot image with this new image. Looks cute. Text to appear on image, nothing. Let's delete that. Links to nothing. OK. Now, if we wanted to add other slides, it could, we see our slide display time. Every six seconds, it will fade or slide horizontally or vertically into the next image. But we're only going to have one image, so this actually doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it as is. Welcome block. Okay, so the welcome block is this box right here. We do want to have a welcome block. So we'll leave that checked. And the wording that we want to have there is, I've already figured this out. You could decide this on the fly. Click around and find out what we're all about, etc., etc. Featured products. Yes, we want to have some featured products, just like we did on her main Etsy shop. You can see she had these four featured products. I think we want to have less than that, so let's do three. You have the option of three, six, nine, or twelve. We're going to do three featured products. And then a secondary message block. Well, that was that About Us section. So we, we're going to say yes to displaying this and yes to an image. And we're going to browse and replace the image. But I'm a little nervous about continuing to make changes without hitting Save. So let's hit Save and look at what we've changed so far. All right. We have our name. We have our image. We have this new text here. Click around and find out what we're all about. Don't forget to join our VIP list below to get 10% off your orders. Here's that, become a VIP. And we are about to edit this section. Okay, so go back here. And let's replace this image with Ashley's cute family picture. Looks great, it's just cropping it a little, that's fine. Hit OK. Very cute. 
and then <clears throat> some headline and text for that area. I've already decided on that. I'm gonna leave about our shop as the header and then just replace the text inside the message area with this. Where she's saying, hey, I'm Ashley, here's my family. Join my VIP list and hit save. Success, your changes were saved. Let's go take a look. We'll just refresh that on that other tab. And there we have it. Isn't that cute? Really makes the page come alive when you have a picture of you and your family on there. That was everything in the home page section. So I'll just close that. Now product thumbnail images. Let's open that. So <clears throat> on Etsy, these are relatively square. Um, you know, sometimes they're a little wider than they are tall. So you could choose a different size here. Maybe you want a landscape image for all your stuff. Or maybe you just want to leave it square. That's fine. Your choice. Whatever works for the images you've been creating. And then your footer. So if you wanted to, you could click this display content block and type in the information and it would show. But I don't think we need any of that. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to hit save again. <coughs> Take a look one more time. I don't think we made any edits. We just let's take stock of what we have. Looking good. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go to these other tabs. So we want to upload a logo. And we can see it needs to be 400 by 150. I've already prepared that. That's what that's going to look like. I'm going to hit save. Product display. How products display throughout your site. I would like them to display from date, newest first, um, 12 per page, sounds great. Checkout settings, make phone number a required field, nah, don't care about that. Store footer, powered by GoDaddy online store, hide link at bottom of site, yeah, let's hide that. You can set up Google Analytics here and there's also an advanced section for custom code. If you're using some special CSS or something, we're not, so we'll just hit save. Let's take a look at the site now. Refresh it. Isn't it cute? There's the logo. Looking good. It's getting closer. 